This week, we highlight another life well lived. The United States now officially has crossed the threshold of 2 million cases of coronavirus, with the number of deaths reaching some 115,000. The vast majority of those deaths have been in patients 65 or older. But we were reminded this week young people are not immune. Marnie Zhang was born and raised in St. Paul, Minnesota, the daughter of Hmong refugees from Laos. Minnesota is home to America's largest population of the Southeast Asian ethnic group. Marnie was one of eight children, growing up with her family in public housing and attending St. Paul's public schools. After graduating from college, she worked for a variety of community organizations on issues ranging from hunger to voting. In 2017, Marnie ran for and won a seat on the St. Paul School Board, where she fought for equality in the city's education system. In January of this year, at just 30 years old, she was elected chairwoman of the school board, settling a teacher's strike as her first act in office. In early May, Marnie and her father both felt sick and eventually fell critically ill with coronavirus. Her father recovered, but Marnie remained on a ventilator for a month before succumbing to the virus. This week, the state's governor called Marnie's death a heartbreaking loss for Minnesota. Marnie Zhang, a force for change with a limitless future, died last Sunday in Minneapolis. She was just 31 years old.